Britain warned the Wagner Group may launch an attack from Belarus towards Kiev. One of the British Army's leading figures has warned of a northern front in Russia's war on Ukraine as being opened by Wagner Group boss Yevgeny Prigozhin from Belarus, according to iNews media outlet, General Lord Richard Danat. The former chief of general staff in the British Army believes Ukraine should watch its northern border with Belarus carefully following Prigozhin's deal with Russian President Vladimir Putin on Saturday night to halt his forces' march on Moscow. The deal was apparently struck in return for Prigozhin and his troops avoiding criminal charges from the Kremlin after what appeared to be an attempted coup. As part of the deal to end Wagner's advance on the Kremlin, which was brokered by Belarusian President and Kremlin ally Alexander Lukashenko, Prigozhin agreed to reside in Belarus. However, Rather than indicate the end of Prigozhin's involvement in Russia's military command, Danat believes it could signal a renewal attempt by Russia to attack Ukraine from the north. He's gone to Belarus, and this is, I think, a matter of some concern now, Danat told Sky News. What we don't know and what we will discover in the next hours and days is how many of his fighters have actually gone with him. If he has kept an effective fighting force around him, then that presents a threat from the north. An attack mounted from Belarus now provides an additional threat after Putin stationed an unknown number of tactical nuclear weapons in the country in May. The Belarusian border is less than 100 miles from Kyiv and Danat suggested Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky will need to reinforce his forces in the north in the event of any attack led by Prigozhin. I would certainly want to make sure that I've got good observation to the north on the axis down from Belarus towards Kyiv, said Danat. The Russians exploited that in the past quite disastrously, but it's quite possible that they might do so again, led by Prigozhin and whatever troops he's got.